Uh, in this session, I would like to talk about torque control. Uh, for this, I will introduce some parameters and the examples of them. So, torque control is uh, one of control modes like position control and the speed control and torque control. The criteria of operation is torque. So the operation is determined by setting torque value. Uh, this mode is divided into two kinds of mode. And the first, cyclic synchronous torque mode. And the second is profile torque mode. So the significant difference between them is PDU update. In the CST mode, it renews the target torque at every PDU update cycle. However, in PT mode, the profile is generated by drive itself. Therefore, it doesn't need PDU update. The better decision of them depend on the system and user preference. So the related parameters with torque control are like this. Uh, these two parameters, they are only for profile torque mode. And this positive torque limit value and the negative torque limit value. This torque limit functions allows the user to set different value between forward operation and the backward operation. So we can use this function for some kinds of tension machine. Um, today, I can't explain all of the parameters here today, but I would like to show you one of the examples that use the, that use the target torque and the torque offset. So before we check the example for torque control, I would like to inform you the two parameters that limit speed. Because in torque control mode, limit speed is also very important and necessary. The parameter 230D is to determine the way of speed limit. The first way of this is to limit speed by setting the value in parameter 230E. This is the first way, and uh, you, this way we follow the value of 230E. And, and the second way is this one, limited by the maximum motor speed. If you set the second way, I mean the, the value 1 for parameter 230D, in this case, you don't have to set any certain value of a limit because the, this, is, this is determined by the motor specification. And the, by setting motor ID, the the maximum motor speed is determined based on the user's motor. So let's see the first example here. So we have set the parameters like here. The first one is target torque, target torque, and the second is speed limit function, and the third one is speed limit value. Uh, we have uh, checked in previous page, so now we know what they mean. So I have uh, set, I had set uh, 100 for target torque, but target torque has the unit 0.1%. So the actual value of 100 is 
of weighted talk. Talk. And the second speed limit function very value draw this will follow this value for speed limit and the 100 has the unit rpm so this will be 100 rpm so the operation with the target torque was uh, 10 percent and the speed limit was uh, 100 rpm so we have uh, stopped the shaft, uh, shaft of an uh, operating motor at around 3 seconds so you can see the, the change of uh, slope of curve or slope uh, uh, yes you can see the change of slope and or the movement so let's see the around the 3 seconds change it it is change it it is also change it case like this but this one has the state same so let's see the graph here uh, red one means the talk feedback and the blue one means uh, talk command and the yellow means the velocity feedback and the force uh, force channel which is the green green line means the velocity command so let's see the first one uh, because we have it, uh, set the target torque as 10% of a related torque so they shows us 10% here, this one is also 10%. And what about the velocity? Because uh, we have uh, stopped the we have uh, stopped the shaft of operating of motor. Uh, the speed of uh, velocity had reached value zero here. However, we have because we have set the speed limit value as 100 rpm. The velocity command has a steady value 100 rpm, like here. So this is what the target talk means, and the first example that. I would like to show you today. And uh, in second example, I would like to add just one more function, which is talk offset. This is uh, this parameter has a zero point one percent unit, so fifty. This fifty means five percent of rated torque. So as a result, so torque feedback and the torque command they have reached fifteen. Because the target torque is ten percent, and the offset value is five percent. So, as a result, this value is fifteen. This is the same. But the velocity feedback. And the various command have same value because we haven't changed any values in these parameters. 
So I have changed the speed limit function, as you see here. In the previous page, the, this value was 0, which follows speed limit value 0, 3, or E. But in this example, I have a set value 1. Uh, that means the motor speed is limited by the maximum motor speed. So you don't have to set any certain value of speed limit. So in this case, uh, the motor that we have used has a uh, 5,000 RPM of uh, the maximum speed. So as you see, the velocity feedback has reached 5,000 RPM. And the velocity command has also reached 5,000 RPM. So this is the uh, speed limit function in torque control. So I have showed you some of examples of parameters. So if you have any further inquiry for any other parameters, you can contact me via email, and then I can answer uh, via email or any additional video clips like this.